Hey guys, welcome to my no boost guide for beginners. I'm Gamet. I'm currently second place in no boost. Um, I'm tenth place in uh, any percent. And I thought while I record the any percent or boost guide, I should also just have this no boost guide because we currently have like one no boost guide by Grass. Um, that's like significantly out of date. A lot of routes are completely different. Um, but this one's gonna be a lot lower effort than the tutorial I'm working on that's like a proper tutorial um, so I mean this is gonna be assuming you know how to like go through the menus essentially just spamming a pressing start on like the very specific menus that need to start um, and then yeah once you get through like the menus we're gonna be going into mass one you won't need to navigate to mass one on the earth but I mean here I am all right and I'm gonna be pausing often to like describe things um, just because, well, this is the medium that we're doing this. We're doing this live. So, um, ahead of us, there's the first three items we're going to be getting is just this dice, this pin, and the screw like this. And, um, you can, like, turn earlier and get this screw instead of the other one. Or you can get both, which is, like, kind of trickier to do, honestly. But either way, you just need one of them, and then you can continue on to these pins. Um, if you got one screw, you're going to need to get all the pins except for two. So you can see I just kind of follow the arc naturally, and then get as many as I can. It is actually kind of hard and precise, but you see, if I get all but two, I'm big enough to continue on. With this uh, save state I have, it's kind of hard to respawn and get a... A better, more clear example, but then we continue on to these uh, soy sauce packets. And just get all these around in a circle. You can see there's one on this tray that is actually required. If you have two screws, you might be able to size up to 6.5 without it, but it's 6.5 the size of these manner slices. So you get this, this whole clump of them, and then there's these two. So I like to hit the clump and then go left, get that one, and then go right, get this one. So like, watch my total movement here. Wait, hold on. This one on the tray is tricky to get. Left, right, and then I start going left again to go right for this caramel tower and into these two matchboxes. So I'm gonna get a better save state. And then, yeah, then we're just going off the table. So, you know, uh, similar to any percent, we're just going to be aiming for the cookie stack down there. And um, it's kind of hard to describe, but the getting speed off of this table is kind of, uh, well, it's important. It's nice. And it's also kind of precise. So you're going to want to, as soon as you roll off, you're going to want to essentially turn right so you can see my st left stick is up, right stick down, and then immediately flick back and like hold this kind of direction. Um, so I'll do it here. And then you see as soon as I, I pull off of the ledge, I'm going back the other way, and then I'm going to start like snaking. And this is just something you're going to have to practice, I guess, but... It helps you get speed on the slope if you're doing that movement. Because you see, like, if I just, like, hold forward, for example, I'm going to get, like, a, a weird bounce, a weird direction. And then usually I just bonk this wall, turn around, get this cookie, this stack of two, this stack of two. And in no boost, you actually want this cookie as well. And you're just going to, like, uh, go sideways into these... Um, and yeah, and if you don't end, you're going to want to go from this last eye drops into this line of candies. Or actually, you could also just go across this line of candies. Or, you know, just do whatever. But, um, let me get this actually clean. So 
you can see it all smoothly. Look at the input if you need to. And it's helpful that once you get this last one to roll into this left caramel because often you can finish on this caramel a little bit sooner than having to go into the candies. <coughs> and then after this, you know, there's going to be like some menuing. You're going to end up here. And um, Make a Star 2 is down at the left. So, I mean, if you're learning uh, just off this Nobus guide, hopefully I'll be telling you like where each level is. You're going to hold down to the left. You know, you're not going to go as fast in game as on the practice mod, but it's right here. And uh, let's go into this. And the first thing about Make a Star 2 is the start. You're either in a bull or you're on a mosquito coil. Um, if you're in PS2, you can be on, uh, like a TV, uh, thing also. Um, the important thing about that one is that it's also flat, so, um, it's, a, it's basically the same no matter what, actually, as you just kind of hold up left on both sticks and get off of whatever you're on. Um, in this case, I also turn left because this is where we're going, and we're going to want... You know, this coin pin, these two game tiles, then left, get this coin, gum, and just do this line of stuff. Just see everything I'm getting here. And, you know, just don't skip anything, and you should be like 5.9 around here. Get these last two, and you should be 6, which is the size of these candies. And I do like this. I kind of like try to do like a C shape, so I do like that. If you actually look at the way my catamaran moves there. And then, yeah, just continue. Up this ramp, through these magnets, down, there's some parsley you'll land on, and then straight across this, get this a little bit, and then, you see there's this like car, you don't really want to like drive straight to the side of this car, you kind of want to take it from the back forwards, but just do that, get this structure, and then up the table, and then left side of the lamp is easier to get around on the right side some important things here is like this stack of frogs that just ran into me this like uh stick or whatever you can see it's uh taking up the center of the screen right now um if you can get any of this stuff it helps with size but there's like plenty of stuff up here the important part is these tapes on the corner and i usually dip my toes into the the cards a little bit and then I immediately go off and then very similar to the first one you're gonna want to um, turn right so left stick up left uh, right stick down and then immediately once again hard steer left to try to get once again speed on the side of this table and uh, what's nice is if you see right next to June my character there in the bottom right there's like a stack of erasers you can get that's kind of nice but um, you usually don't need it so you do this and then you do that and this is just really hard to steer it's hard to get the speed through the gap see like I lost speed there and the the first time I had speed but I didn't make it through the gap that's fine it's worth going for just in case you get it like because a little bit of speed is you know it can save like the course of I can save like three seconds over the course of this next stretch so it's uh it's nice to go for, it doesn't lose any time, so. Anyways, we just continue. And honestly, with this size, you just go along here. If you're like here and you're not 14 centimeters, I would actually go left a little bit and grab this uh, first pink sock. You see there's like a blue sock, pink sock. But without that, you just need these middle three socks. Bam, bam, bam. And then... Fried shrimp and mandarins right there. Calculator, and then yeah, you should be 16 centimeters and 5 millimeters. If you're not, get more soaps or, you know, see if you missed something. And then into these tomatoes. Uh, these tomatoes are 16 centimeters and 5 millimeters, which is why you, you want that size. And then through the scissors, shoes, and then yeah, mass 2 is done. Then for Make a Star 3. Um, it's going to be down left, um, and then 
down a little bit. It's just, it's really the one closest to you. Um, so it's right there, yeah. And um, I'm actually going to restart. The important thing about mastery is that you want to be holding forward like right at the very beginning. So um, I'm going to get a save state where I actually do that. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Yes, yeah, so you need to you need to mash start and then hold forward at the very beginning. Cuz you have to get past the king text. And um you're going to want uh the spoon, cherry spoon, magnet, like that line of items. Um I don't think you need this last magnet, but um well, you'll see what I do. It, it's kind of instinctual, and you will grab a butterfly on the way too. So let me just hold forward and do the the safe state. Okay, you do the you do get that magnet, but the important part is like why you're holding forward is because you got to beat this dung beetle, to like this area, and if you get hit by, hit by him, it sucks. But you do want to beat him. It's fast, so it's not too hard. It's essentially just a lot of holding forward, and uh, when I'm going left and right in a path like this. I'm holding fully forward with my right stick, and then if I want to go a little bit left, I adjust a little bit left on my left stick. If I want to go a little bit right, I adjust a little bit right on my right stick. So just or my a little bit right on my left stick rather. So just watch this again, and you can see I I can get pretty much everything. And then at the end of this line, I press down on the left stick to cut across. And get over here and then uh just watch this particular line of flowers i take i take this through this one and then i go through these three turn around go through this line of flowers tape flowers at the very end of these flowers it's important to go like a little bit left get this cherry in this strawberry and then flip around now you should have gotten some butterflies um because i'm demonstrating stuff the butterflies can be all over the garden but they're usually on this end um, but importantly, you just want to get, like, let's say all these cherries and then all these croissants, and they should be, um, 17 centimeters and 8 millimeters. If you're not, because I'm not here, um, you know, you want to make sure you're, like, aiming for some butterflies on the path that I showed, or, uh, you know, getting all the rest of the stuff. Um, I'm not that size because, yeah, I just, uh, there were no butterflies for me to get because I was demonstrating stuff, but... The eggplant is 17 centimeters and 8 millimeters. You get it, and you continue on. Through these cans. Up this ledge. And then candle, 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 candle. This shoe is very important. Get that. And then there's, like, some cycles here. So you're going to be want to looking out for this guy. He's very uh, good. These rats with the takiyaki. So... Get him, and if he's not here, he's usually probably going to be on that side. Uh, I get this shovel, this shovel, and then get these shovels, and then wherever he is, just get him. All four of these mayonnaise. And then climb up. Um, unlike in boost, you're going to want to get this shovel, this shovel, and uh, the chicken, and then I'd cut left to get this sink strainer. And climb up the ledge. But you see, if I do this in smooth motion, it'll be very easy to climb. The sink strainer makes it easy to climb. And then go back to right, mosquito coil. This clump. Oh, I missed a can. These three clumps, and then turn right and get this. Now, this is where we do something completely different than no boost. This, and then you want two crabs. And, um,. I believe two crabs is all you need, given that we got all what we want. But obviously, if this lady's on the way. Uh, grab this crab with the paint can on it. It's very good. Um, actually, I do think we're too small. So I would say start with three crabs, and then if you're doing something different, which I was probably thinking about um, a different calculation there. Um, so you can get three crabs just over there at the red. If there's um 
if you get two crabs and there's not a red one spawning, then, you know, just plan on getting a blue crab over here. Um, climb up the steps, get the crab wherever he is on this uh, step, and then go up through this purse and this ketchup, get the bullhorn, pull back, get the slippers, go forward through this line of stuff, and then um, you want to be 44 centimeters and 6 millimeters before the fences. So there's still two more, like, underwear um, that you can size up on if you're not big enough right now, but um, kind of similar to how usually um, you do with speed, uh, turning uh, clockwise a little bit and then turning counterclockwise will get you some speed coming down the slope that you can take into the fences. But uh, that's really hard to control, as you can see I, I missed like all of them. So if you don't want to take that speed, that's perfectly fine. Um, sorry, <laughs> don't end on that mosquito net. You won't be able to. You usually won't be big enough, but just pick up the fences from the middle to make it really nice to just roll through them. If you fall off and you're like kind of over here, um, these flower pots are nice to end on. And if you fall out off and you're like over here, end on the fish or end on this flower pot over here or something like that. And, uh, well, let's make a star three. And make star four is down to the left again. It's, um, more down to the left than, like, two, and you're gonna have to hold down for part of it. And, um, for this level, you just want to start and hold up left. Um, usually I hold straight up on my right stick, and then, um... This is straight left on my left stick, but then I hold slightly above straight left, and you can see that it gets me out of the peel pretty fast, and, um, I don't know, this is just a movement I like doing. You'll see I'll do it on 5 and on moon, but get out either way and just keep turning, get these caramels, around the thermometer. You really don't want the thermometer, um, so I'd avoid it. Um, you can cut across like this. Or you can just go around it. But, uh, try to avoid that. This line of caramels, this line of Mahjong tiles, and come across the racer and get all these Mahjong tiles. They're all really important. And get this line too. Once again, get everything that, if you can. And then when you cut across these dice to the um, batteries, you'll see your 7 centimeters and 4 millimeters, which is the size of these batteries. I go across them sideways like this and I turn and I roll forwards into these erasers and then turn at the end. Um, and at the end of this I kind of hard turn anti-clockwise and I try to get one or two of these mice. One should be fine but getting these mice help the climbing in a second so if you're having trouble with climbing Make sure you're getting a mouse, it helps a lot. So I roll forwards, get this, get some mice, and then I line myself up with the second side, uh, the left side of this tissue box, and then, you know, just hold straight forward. Um, this is kind of important, I guess, uh, is that you want to hold just straight up. Even if it doesn't work, don't try to, like, adjust or whatever. Just hold it straight up until it does work. If it's like really giving you issues, you might want to try adjusting, um, but usually it climbs. And when you're up here, you get all the ping pong balls, you're going to want to drop and then touch these books that are like real close to you on the uh, next to the uh, flower pot. I lost a lot of stuff there. Hold on. Let me try losing fewer things. So, get all these books in a line like this. Um, I, I just recommend not missing books. <laughs> um, which is easier said than done, but, you know, I, I, I tried to get all the books. If you're 17.5, um, it's good, because if you get um, all these orange juices, then you don't need this watermelon in the corner. That's a good uh, calc to remember. Um, but if you're, let's say, smaller than 17.5, I can try missing some of these ping pong balls. Let's see if this makes a difference. 
Yeah, so let's say I have 17.3. I can get all of them, except for I'm going to need this watermelon in the corner now. So I'll just roll to it knowing that I'll need it. And then 21.1. Um, you should be this size, assuming that you've done everything right. Do these flowers. Roll up the table. Throw these uh, birds. And then... Um, down through these two things and then just do all this stuff. So you're just going to have to kind of follow my line. Because there's a lot of stuff to mention that I'm getting here. But... Um, just kind of a general line of stuff that you follow. Just get all the stuff that's in clumps or, you know, whatever. And then hair dryer, dust pan. And then on no boost, you should be big enough that you don't need to go deep into this bathroom. Just get these first two toilet papers, the ghost, shoe, shoe, toilet paper, and then turn backwards. And you want all the pigs in no boost. So you turn backwards and you immediately start going right get these two, this one, and get this one. And then I try to get these close two brown shoes, the sandals, the far brown shoes, and the far sandals into these last, uh, the heel and the red shoe at the ends. That's the line I take. I go up over this toolbox and into these toys, into these plants, and then... You'll see on no boost, you're always too small for this backpack. That's fine. Just get all the hard hats. You know, just adjusting your line to get everything. If you can get this uh, clay stove, do it. The cats you should, usually should be clumped in this corner so you can get them. And if you're too small for, like, let's say the teapot, just get a cat and then come back for it. And then firework. Get this other firework this basket you don't necessarily need to be big enough to get the basket if you're too small for the basket it's fine to just move on get all these buckets and then i'd say go left get this pansies right there and then do these plants um and if you don't end you can choose to either end on this uh box over here or what i sometimes like to do is i just aim straight for these plants and you might think you won't be able to touch it but you can just kind of bash into it, and your hitbox will get them. You can see they're up in the air right now. Uh, right in front of the screen. So, um, that's Mass 4. Mass 5 is directly up. Um, I think you have to adjust a little bit left. I think it might be a little bit different than the practice mod. Um, but yeah. To start Mass 5, um, this is, uh, like I said, I'm gonna, I am gonna like to do straight up on the left stick and then slightly above, directly right on the right stick. So I'm holding this um, when the level starts. You can see I do this. And I land directly on these two eggs that are right below the dog, which is really good. I, this is this is why I really recommend this movement. Um, because if you don't do that, like if I just hold like upright, I'm going to miss the eggs. Or sometimes you can like... Um, very weirdly, like, see, like, look at this. There's some angles that you can hold that make you move really slowly. So, I'd recommend that movement. Get the eggs. And then, gum gum. Get this line of stuff. And then, uh, you're going to roll through this. It's fine to roll through the middle thing. It will release the bulldog. So, you're just going to have to watch out for the bulldog. Um... I like to get this line of eggs, strawberries and eggs, all the way to the back, flip, and then get these takoyakis like this, and then um, just roll up these ledges. It shouldn't be hard if you aren't going fast, which you are in a no boost. And um, let me wait till this dog's out of the way so I can. The line of stuff here is. The batteries, glasses, takoyaki, then the golf balls, and you're actually going to want this mandarin slice to the side. So you're going to want, like, nearly everything. Oh, this dog's in the way. So, I mean, if you just look at my sticks, you can see I'm, like, 
swerving left and right to get all this stuff. Because you want to be 18 centimeters when you head off this thing. Get hit by the mass trap on pur purpose and just bounce across. And since you're 18 centimeters, you can get these teacups. If you're not, um, like get these magnets or these uh, sushi next to you. Um, on one line, go all the way to the back, getting like all the leftmost teacups. And on the way back, get all the rest of them. You want all of them. And then get the shovel into these three teacups. Cut across the sushi. It's a little bit exercise. And then this teacup and up the dude's legs. Um, getting up these dudes' legs is, like, kind of difficult to do, like, well. Um, see, like, that's an example of, like, an interaction that, like, you don't really want. So what I do is I wait until I see I got the bread, bread, um, because he has bread on his, at the top of his legs on a plate. I wait till I see the bread, and I just hold straight right. And that's, um, pretty good at just getting yourself safely on the table. You'll get the square dish, and then you want to roll backwards to get this square dish, and this crab, and this cup. There's another crab right down there that's on a uh, rake. You want to hold and get him. They should be big enough for these um, bottles. I don't know what they are. I forgot. Soy sauce. And then roll across. And roll back. Usually there's a plate with two shoes on it. Uh, if you see that, you 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 want to get it. Um, you saw I got it, but I got it when I was at a completely different place in the cycle. Um, if there are green elephants coming out of this um, alleyway, you want to get them. But I do think you need to be a little bit over 31 centimeters for them. Otherwise, just get all four of these soy sauce bottles so that you're plenty big enough. And then try to like straddle the line between these two driver signs so you get as many of them as possible if you're directly in the middle and get these bananas on the way to this handcuffs are pretty good i just recommend getting them every time and you know once you get better you can avoid them when you know you're big enough wait until the stack of uh cookie tins falls down get this car of cookie tins and stuff and then cross these lollipops and you should be big enough that with the pigeon and the stack of paper, you can get these flower pots. And then, yeah, one or two kindergarten bags should make you 45 size. <laughs> and as for the uh, the transition for 45 centimeters, so let's just say that you're like over here and you get the transition for 45 centimeters. Um, I'd recommend rolling down on like the right side of the hill. If you know that you're like right pressed up against the gate when you transition to 45 centimeters, um, I just hold forward and then you can roll down the left side. It's just that if you're a little bit late to getting there, the students could turn uh, to their right early and that will block you on the left. But um, you can see here it shouldn't matter. Just hold forward. See, they won't turn into me. But um, stuff to look out for if you get there late. And there's like two ways that you can uh, go down the slope. You can like smoothly roll down like this, or sometimes you can bounce. Um, it's hard to exactly get it to bounce on purpose. There we go. You definitely want to be smooth, uh, smoothly rolling down. It helps. It's just better. And so um, it's hard exactly to know what causes it, but I would just mess around with it and see what you can get um, see what helps you roll down smooth although now I'm not getting it for some reason there we go and then I turn right here and then back left through these pins so it's kind of like bowling where you don't want to like hit it straight on you kind of like want to hit it from an angle Kind of like bowling, because it is bowling, but... Um, or, well, I guess the real reason is because you're staying up with snakes. So you go right, left, and then right, left. Um, the important thing about no boost is that when you have a ramp like this, you want to keep the speed. So you want to be able to snake still after this. So um, I turn right, and then I turn left into the pins, and I keep snaking. So you know, turning right, left, right, left. Um... 
And I'm going to keep the snake all the way to the bottom of the hill. You'll see exactly how far I keep it. Hold on. Do the melons and then get that mat. And get the second mat. Now usually cart lady will be right here. And you want to wait until she passes by. I, I got an RG cycle where it looks like she's just not here. But then when she passes by, you're going to sneak behind her, get this line of stuff, and they should be 65 centimeters. And um, go ahead and get this pineapple. This pineapple is 65, so if you're too small, you can't get it. Just go around it. Chocolate cake, pumpkin pie, and then lucky cat. Get the stack of stuff and then just turn around. This line of watermelons. Now you can be big enough here to skip this, but I'd recommend just going back and getting one of these baskets, if not two. And then continuing up through this. And assuming that, you know, you have that basket, uh, getting this basket on this corner um, where I'm pointing, but it's not there anymore because I picked it up. You should be big enough with the price tag in the corner, which is uh, really nice. And you see shop lady, or uh, cart lady is being a nuisance, so I'm going to have to to get through her okay and um no boost through these uh daikon radishes on the left here into these crates into these two signs into this pumpkin pie um but you don't need all that to be honest you can skip uh, a bit i think the right amount to be when you're in the water here is like 112 and the setup here is that you want to like roll up into this corner and it will kind of nicely bonk, uh, bonk you into the steps in a way that is uh it's like usually if you just roll up into them you can miss uh a couple on the bottom but this should kind of get you more rolling up into this corner and letting it push you into them don't really know why it works but this this is a good setup to learn and then you want to um, roll under this bridge. I don't know why it's not letting me under the bridge. It's just straight up not letting me. Might be slightly too big. But you want this uh, lantern that's all the way on the right side. You want these other two as well. Up the slope. These two speakers. And then you can see this uh, group of like for dueling masks just get them like this kind of like a z or s shape and then up here into the sign now if you're uh 143 5 i believe uh you can just end directly on the signs um if not you have to go around and then pick up these um sidewalk markers and this sign you have to end here if you're a little bit too small but you know, that's Make Star 5. Kind of lengthy, to be honest, especially in No Boost uh, compared to the other ones, but we're going to have a shorter one here, Make Star 6. This is um, down at the right, but mostly down, so down right, hold down, and then you should get to Make Star 6. And the first thing to do in Make Star 6 is just immediately quick turn and go up left. So, yep, yeah, just do that, and then hold forward, do this line of stuff, left through these uh, squashes, get this right squash, uh, you might be tempted to skip it, I really recommend getting it every time. Um, so I'm trying to not get blocked by stuff. Usually there aren't stuff blocking, but when I'm, like, describing stuff, you know, things want to block me, so. Um, yeah, we get that line of stuff, and then the shoes through these toolboxes are um, bigger than this right line of stuff. So get these toolboxes. I try to get this first toolbox from the side, like that, because it makes it so I don't vault up. But realistically it doesn't matter so just do whatever cut over to the right get this bas basketball uh 
baseball bat and the ladle and go up to these pans. You kind of want to like um, reset yourself up, fix your angle so you can go straight through them, and then straight through these vegetables. And on no boost, I would get this carrot and I would just go directly across the carrots like this. And if you're um, 84.9, you should be good, I believe. Um, either way, it's a little bit safer to cut across to the right here and just get some kebabs on the way. And get these plants. You can see the smaller plants are in the back. So it kind of helps to like hit the left side of this vehicle and then come back to the front right. So you make sure you get all of them. Uh... 97.8 is the size you want here for these boxes. And you can just roll out. Now there's going to be a line of four chickens. Uh, somewhere along the path from the boxes to here. You can see that um, they're over here because the cycles are way off since I'm explaining stuff. So... I don't know, let me, let me steal this dog real fast to compensate for my size. Um, and then we go down into this uh, circle. You just want to do like uh, a single circle around. Make sure you're getting like every bush and number that you can. And this trash can in the corner. You can see I'm uh, too small. Part of that is because I didn't have the chickens like I said earlier. And also, on the cycle, usually there's a uh, dog in the middle that you'll cut across and get. But the bushes here are random, so if you need to like keep going to get like 130, and then come back for the uh, trash can, that's fine. And once you have the trash can and you're uh, 134, that's when you leave the circle and get these fences. Pick up the first one from the middle. This will help, once again, because you won't be quite so vaulted off of it. And then you can just roll along them. And they should be pretty nice to you, but... Um, also, this bear is like real close to the center like you can. You can just grab him. He helps for size. Get the globe, the bike. And I would say important here is just to slow down and get both of these sidewalk markers. Then you'll be big enough for this barrel. This barrel is 160... Uh, and then nine millimeters. Roll through all this stuff. And then through these chickens and these sheep. Assuming that you're big enough for the barrel, um, you should be big enough for those. And um, you, there's a couple strategies here. You can stop in front of the ledge and then just roll up. If you're going full speed and you don't want to slow down, you can just roll straight up the bush, but it's kind of RNG, so um, careful with it, I guess. There's a scale to get right where I'm standing, and this uh, wooden sign here is actually really good, um, often overlooked. At the end of this, this sign with this trash, I'd like cut right, get them, and come back and I get these the sign into all these cows. If you're big enough, you can get this farmer right on the way, and then you'll be huge here um, if you're big enough for the farmer. If you aren't, though, whatever. Get the guy sitting down, the propane tanks. Climb up the car to get these oil drums, and then get these stacks of oil drums. I just hold forward until I'm into the back, and then when I bonk off the back, I hold back, and then I get the other halves, you know. I get this close gas pump, and then... Just this gas pump and this washer, this gas pump and this washer, and then I continue on my way over here. Um, turn around at the end here, and then just get this mirror into these bushes, into these uh, vending machines. These, um, what are these called? Rice cakes, bales of rice. And then the bike into the balloon guy. And you should end. But just like in uh, Boost, you can turn around and get... These two ladies or these two bikes to end early. Or if you're getting that often, it's way faster to get these bushes. Um, just like 
bonk them like that, and before you get the mirror and the arcade machines and stuff, or vending machines. So that's just like from back here, when you're on your way to the last part, you can bonk on the side like that to get them and then just continue onwards. Now we got bear. Um, I'll talk about it, I guess, but just hold up right and then slightly right at the very end. And then, yep, you're just going to want to hold up left and get this bear over here. And <laughs> that's, that's really all it is to it in, in no boost. Um, but hey, what's talking about? Seven's going to be directly to your right, um, but you're going to have to do up a little bit. Um... The speed is way more manageable in game, but in practice mod everything's fast, so it's a little bit hard to uh, to get exactly perfectly. And we're dealing with the cycle at the very beginning here, so you're going to want to just hold straight forward and follow this line of bananas. This is maybe the most uh, you know intuitive route. Now, usually I make adjustments on my line just with my left stick. You can see I'm actually ahead of cycle. Hold on. I'm a little bit ahead of cycle because I save stated before I close out the king text. But yeah, usually this motorcycle should be out of your way. And if you go really fast, this car should be in your way. Like a little bit. So what I do to avoid the car being my way. I used to waste time just on purpose. Which is a little bit kind of dumb feeling to do but what you can do is just um go around the car and get one two three pineapples and then go back onto the line of bananas and you see when i do it this way um by the time i get to the first teapot i'm 72 centimeters and seven millimeters whereas if you do it usual way um or the way that i have been doing it i guess in the past you skip the first teapot. So this is a nicer um, way in my opinion. Line of teapots. And this bucket. Go back into the bananas a little bit when you can. And just straight off. Watch out for this panic car up here. I go behind him. If you try to cut in front of him. It usually doesn't work out too well. So the cycle, the cycle that you want is to go behind this panda car, down the slope, and behind the swan car. You see that, like, I'm really close to the swan car, but I'm behind it. That's perfect, honestly. So if you get that, that's good. This line of food delivery boxes, and then I get one turkey here. Um, not this one that's near the food delivery boxes, but... After I turn right here, I get a turkey, and then I go right into the blue tanks. So it's kind of an intuitive line, but it's a line that makes you bigger, because when you come back through, you can see I get this food delivery box. It's still in my way, so it's nice to do. But this is kind of a time-sensitive time. Um, as long as you're on the cycle, you can uh, quick turn at the end of these tanks to get all these tricycles. And then cut across like this, getting a garbage bag and still beating the swan there. Um, but you don't have to be on the cycle. You can just uh, go around the right side and wait for the swan or something like that. Get that trash can and then through this stuff. If you're too small for the kid, just... Uh, or for, for one or two of the kids. Um, just go around them. Uh oh, that wasn't a good save state. But whatever. And then, yeah, you're going to want to get this trash can and this telephone. And then the umbrella into these three tires. And then, yeah, just do this stuff. It's very similar to boost, but it should be way bigger here. Cut across through the sign and into these telephones. I'm going to go back because it's a little bit bigger than I should be. Uh, 
Um, but yeah, you should be bigger here. And then these payphones. And you can see I'm bigger than 188.9, uh, which means that I can just roll straight up and get the bicycles from the left. Because that sets you up nicely to just hold forward here. Do all this junk. A little bit of small miscellaneous size. And then bonk the doll. Uh, get all these vegetable cartons. Honestly, just bonking off this thing can be kind of nice to just roll into them. And if, as long as you're 224, you should be able to go um, roll through these bushes from left to right, as you're going to see I'll, I'll do here. And then back in through the dolls, and then just continue onwards. It's fine if you miss a bush like that, but, you know, try to get all four, obviously. Off this corner, you can snag the sign like that um, as long as you're not too far left through these bushes hit both these women um, and get one or two roll through the bushes and then turn around and then through these vending machines now let's take on the left side of these rock dudes it's something to want to go in the middle but you can get way more punished Depending on the cycle, you can just get ultra punished anyways. But just sticking on the left is a better chance at not getting ultra punished. Hold forward. And at the second slope, uh, turn left and like try to keep some of the speed. So just follow what I'm doing here. Look at these snaking motions. And then, yeah, obviously, um, trying to get this boat. This buoy and this lily pad is pretty nice. Through the four dudes. This cow is going to be on a cycle. Um, you want to get this motorcycle into this cow. And then set yourself up for this door. So these doors suck. The best strat is to have them in front of you like this kind of. Where like if this is facing perpendicular you're facing like to the right a bit. And then just hold straight up, roll straight through them. You can see that I actually rolled cleanly through. Um, but that's not a given. <laughs> so that's kind of a nice setup. It's the best thing I found in no boost to, to deal with the doors. You can see um, tending towards the left side a little bit rather than the direct middle can help. And then just roll short forward, get this lamp, this lamp you can the door hitboxes are so glitchy get this um flower bed and then roll into the wall while spinning to get these two flower beds do this lamp and this payphone this lamp and this uh flower box and then get these trees and just keep rolling through all this good stuff you can look at the ground and see what i'm getting there but it's a bunch of lamps and flower beds those are like really the big things and then you should be big enough to just roll out. And these trees, there are these two rocks. Um, it's kind of hard to show you where they are. Okay. It's hard to show you where they are. But um, there are two rocks that you want to get there. And you can see them from far away. So you can see there's one rock, and then there's one, you can just imagine, a little bit further and a little bit to the left. So those are the two rocks you want. Hold on, I'm sorry. I am keep going too far back. You get one rock, two rock, and then there's another rock... You can see it just at the bottom here. Pressed up against the wall. I kind of just scrape against the wall until I get it. And uh, then you're free. When I'm approaching this ledge up here, I full turn left, like just before I uh, go into it. I think it helps me like roll up it cleaner. Through these dudes with the rocks, so you can pick up the rocks that they have and then 
to these rocks up the hill, and then I try to get these two fences that are like stuck into the ground a little bit, and into these uh, two things. If you hit the swan boat to the right, feel free to like get the swan boat, and then into that car is the finish. Although often the swan boat, um, if you know it's like around the building, so like anywhere from this part of the road to like this part of the road, if you know it's around there, I roll through here to hit it and potentially end on it. But rolling this way is a safe bet anyways, because this pole you can pick up. And you should end. Just know that if you see and hit the swan boat early, it's um good to just pick it up. You'll end quickly. All right. It's time for make a start eight. Make a start eight is just downright. It's um a little bit just past six, you can imagine. And uh, the beginning of this level is uh, pretty self-explanatory, just going through all the stuff. You don't want to cut right here and get a Takuyaki on the right that you imagine you might accidentally miss. So just make sure you're getting that. This one right here. You gotta turn left and get this strawberry in the corner and then just hold forward. You can bonk in the strawberry jam, but I recommend just like holding forward with conviction and then you'll probably get the strawberry before the strawberry jam. I don't know why, but it can be kind of tricky, but also it's not uh, something that I have a huge problem with. Roll through all the strawberry jam and then turn around, get that soap into this toothpaste here. And this is a good example of, you're going to want to soap through the cherries and you're rolling downhill. You can get speed here pretty reliably. Just by um, rolling right and then hooking left like that. And um, you can also get a spin at the very end. Uh, which is kind of nice for getting these takiyaki on the, on the dish. Can't exactly get it right now like that and then still with speed you want to just roll into the shoe try to be as perpendicular as possible it's like this and once again this is something you just want to hold forward into the more speed you have the better chance of you not getting bonked on the shoe and just stuck like that um roll into this takiyaki on this dish and then into these cream puffs into these cream buffs and then turn left. You want all three of them though. Um, roll through this, this, and then get all these milk cartons. And then yeah, just uh, do these three shovels into these, um, I call them kebabs, they're called Odin in the game. Uh, these kebab looking things with these shapes on the on the pole. Um, the RNG can really affect you there. Um, so if you don't get them, um, you might be too small, but I'll, I'll show you a backup in a second. So you're going to want to roll through this spade and then into this doll, Kokeshi doll, and turn around here. Get this orange juice and then through this line of spades with the cherries. Making sure to cut right and get this mallet. And um, you want to be 27.6 before climbing the ledge. If you aren't, you can get this gun before cutting left again. Or, um, you know, come back here and get some Odin. So if you miss some Odin, um, it's usually going to be here again on the, on the right. If you're 27.6 centimeters getting this first very small takoyaki um, into the line of stuff is good. Um, 
if you're 27 6 and you miss the small takoyaki you probably won't be big enough and you're going to need to get one of these blue number counters at the end but turn get the uh rakes i would just like set up here to make sure you're like directly like perpendicular and roll through the center of these rakes because otherwise it can be really tricky to get and then turn left and roll through this part of the sandbox you can get Odin on the way through here also and get this rake to the left right here through this stuff through these cans um so I roll left through these cans and then roll right like here back and get all get all of them and wherever these guys are in the path you'll roll through them if you can they're good for size obviously the dog just want to look out for him. The standard no boost cycle, um, the dog shouldn't really be in your way until you start to get pretty good, and then you're gonna want to start trying to beat the dog cycle. Um, so at this choke, uh, not this one here, but specifically at this choke point, um, you're gonna want to get your Katamari into this position. And let the de dog pass you on the left. So you can like kind of go around him. But that's really hard to do. Like I, I can't even do that reliably. And um, get this pig into these left clump of bricks. And into these right clump of bricks. And then turn around. Uh, to climb into this I'd recommend just. Um, if you have the right shape manip. Like. Sometimes the stuff you're vaulting off of can just let you up there. Um, but I honestly recommend just um, spinning right before you climb. And that helps a lot more. Cut left, get this orange juice, this ham. And down the slide, you're going to want to get speed. So like before, left and then right. Every time you get speed in this game, it's kind of the same thing. These buckets, these fences. Into whatever items here, you can see right now it's a kindergarten bag. It can be a vase or a purple bundle also. It's just RNG what it is, but get it. And spin into this clump with this uh, wash tub and the graffiti. Go right and climb the middle of this right bike tire. If you're too far left or too far right, the climb can be a lot harder. Um, get the stuff that's on this turntable and then this line of stuff from the left to the right. And you're going to want to hold straight forward um, when you come out here and then cut left. So you can see I'll start smoothly rolling and then um, turn left at a specific time and you'll start bouncing so unlike mass 5 you want to be bouncing here so whether or not so sometimes it'll just start you bouncing and that's fine but if not you want to remember that you can um, start turning left at a very specific spot to stop smooth rolling and start bouncing instead you want to bounce off this uh, plank just see how you're approaching it and imagine the bounces and you want your last bounce to be on the plank and land on the toolbox here if you miss it you pr should be big enough without it through this line of flowers and through these line of lucky cats if you're too small for the lucky cats just pick up the head or pick the hats off of them and then you'll be big enough this line of um, four pickaxes. As long as you're like 81 going into town, you should be fine. Go through this line of stuff. Um, just ignore this. This is a um, save state glitch from using practice mod. <laughs> um, this, th you'll never see this in game, but <laughs> because I've been save saying so much, sometimes it gets a little corrupted. Um, 
So through that line of stuff, he should be big enough. You want to go through this line of toilet paper. There's some more toilet paper hidden under this uh, glitchy machine. But just um, imagine the machine is not there. And then you can get all the paper towels there. Through here. Get the walk into the rice into the dog. Miss this rice that's directly in the middle of my screen right now. You want to avoid that on purpose. Because otherwise the dog will get aggroed and then when you run into him, he'll bounce. Which isn't good. Get that walk clump and then this food delivery box into the carrots. And then you want to set up. Like, you want to get all these bushes. Um, missing one can be okay. Sometimes. But like, really get all these bushes. If you miss two, you just stop dead on the spot and turn around and get the last one. Sorry, my voice is uh, kind of going, but <laughs> um, I'm going to finish off Make Star 8, and then I'm going to do the last two in a little bit uh, in a different video, but they should be clearly labeled on my channel, so it will be easy to find. And then just under this ledge, there's going to be trash bags. So um, as I go over the ledge, I turn anti-clockwise, just like that, just to get this uh, trash bag under here. You can see it didn't work, but it usually does. I, I don't know why it didn't work there, but to get these boxes, you're just going to want to kind of hold forward and then um, like go left at a specific time. It's kind of kind of hard to say because you kind of get stuck there, but if you do get stuck here often and you're like frustrated, just get all the boxes and then go all the way around the pole. It's better than getting stuck there and like losing size. Roll up on this bench, all this other bench, getting all the stuff, into this chair, into this one price tag, into this uh, cabinet. <clears throat> and then hook right and get this grandma's chair. And then you're going to bounce left and get into this... Uh, left grandma's chair and then from that you'll be big enough to pick up the grandma herself which is why you see a picture up get back on the platform and get this lady on this chair and get this chair and there's this um there's specifically a formation of people that we're looking for which is like two dudes holding up this lady that's uh s sitting on a chair so it's not these dudes holding up this, uh, what's called a Mikoshi. It's these guys that are coming right now. They're coming straight for us. You're going to want to look out for them. The Nobu cycles are, they're going to be like from right where they are now to anywhere along like this general area. So around here, you just want to like turn around, like look for them, see where they are. Grab them from the middle. So specifically, you see that uh, it was it crediting me with legless chair in the bottom left. So you want to grab the chair that she's sitting on, which is right in the middle, and it'll give you the whole clump. And then pick up this bench on the way, if you can, to these uh, barber poles. Sorry, the Mikoshi is kind of blocking my way. Um, and then usually you can get these shopping carts just by bonking into them. Uh, I, I guess they're not carts, they're like stands. Sail carts is what they're called, I guess. Um, you can try spinning into it too, but just be careful because you can get stuck. So do what works for you. And then get the sail cart. Just hug the left side, getting all these big items on the left side, including this lounging dude. And then uh, when you pass this gate, go to the right to get this um, copy machine on the right. Um, and get these other two as well. Then, when you're going back left, go through this gate in the middle, this guardrail, and then roll forward. Get this uh, 
right statue and the sign that's holding up and this guardrail right here and then through this clump of stuff getting those two tables and the arcade machine and then go right through this first wooden stand and just roll straight through this whole clump of bleachers the dragon the pipes get everything big that you can but don't feel too bad because you could just turn left I'd spin into this um, the stand with the oil drums and then turn left and go through the water here um, if you're like I think it's like 392 you can pick up these um, handrails my camera is just moving on its own I don't know what's going on sorry these uh handrails but if not you want to like go left around them because they're gonna be too big and then you can get the statue for exercise um and through this thing and just go across get the statue there's some treasure chests in the water here that are kind of big up the path through this stuff and then along this left si uh, side you can get all these stands and flags and stuff to the right go through this clump of trees and rails and then you'll transition to five um, because you'll flip and then go left into this pole and you want to go around this uh, big white pole here <clears throat> and you want to use this pole that you just picked up to vault up onto the ledge that you see to the right so you see that the bottom of the pole is sticking straight up and you're going to want to like put that on the ground here and vault up on top of it and then you're high up so you can just get onto the ledge and then roll all the way back to these start of these mikoshis and uh, get all four I'm like kind of vaulted weirdly but it usually isn't very hard to get them all <laughs> just in a line get these first three cars and then um, one thing you can do is just roll down these last few cars go up and get the vans and then roll down and then just keep going um, I'm gonna show off the entirety of the ends um, without speed but just know that at these cars there is a trick to do with getting speed um, I'll show that in a second Without that, roll through these signs, these trees, through this pole, and then through these trees, and then through these trees here. At the top of the trees, you want to like just hold straight right, go through this park, through this tree in the middle, and you find yourself here. Go through these two poles and like the cars, over this greenhouse, this pole, some more trees on the way to these big white trees, which is like wall the size is going to be roll up all the to these white trees and the monster trucks into this town um, basically no matter where you ro roll into the town as long as you roll a speed you should be able to end or just pop over and then get these barns um, if you're too small for like if you're, yeah if you're too small for some of these uh, buildings in this small town but if you want speed at the end here roll into these cars and then position yourself up and to the left so like above the car on the hill roll forward until you get all three of these cars and then you want to uh, hold clockwise direction like that and then quickly start holding uh, anti-clockwise so it's like getting speed all the other places but you'll see I do this so here I actually don't have that much speed but it still is much better than without doing it ideally you want to get these three cars on the right though I, I messed it up hold on And so yeah, you don't need the vans. But you can get pretty crazy speed here. Is 
There you go. That's a better example of speed. And then yeah, just um, you'll lose the speed by the time you're here, but you should be surprised that the speed matters a little bit. Um, even if you quote unquote lose the speed, you'll be faster than if you just don't go for speed at all, which is interesting, but just how it works. And um, that's making Star 8. Uh, unfortunately, my voice is dying, so I think I'm just going to do um, a second part. But they'll be in the same like Twitch playlist, and um, since I don't have any other Twitch playlists, they'll be like, just first thing you see is Nobis Guide Part 1, Part 2. So, thanks for watching.